let's come to the big day, the D day right now, right? So your uh, CT exams are tomorrow. So what did today feel like? What was what was the feeling? How did you uh, sleep the previous night? How was it? How was it all? Uh, what was the feeling? So the like? day before the CT test, I would not study anything. I would not revise anything. I would just keep myself calm, you know, just look outside, maybe watch a little TV, just not think too much about what's going to happen the next day, not put too much pressure on it, which helps, you know, keeping yourself in touch. Fantastic. In that exam itself. Fantastic. If you could do that, that's fantastic. Yes. And the thing with CT exams, is it's for different exams. Correct. So it's very, it's not like put all your effort in that three hours. Correct. So there are four different hours and it's uh, this thing. So you've got to, you know, have that confidence like for the entire day. You're not supposed to correct. You know, uh, be defeated. Yeah, so correct. That's you the, have to pace it out yes. as well. Correct. Got it. Yeah. And I think one more thing which really helped was on the previous day, uh, obviously not studying too much will help because that won't like overcrowd your mind. But also like, uh, you, you know, your parents giving you a small pep talk and like kind of telling you you have done as much as you can and you'll do well tomorrow also really helps. So getting that sense of reassurance from somebody who means a lot to you, so your parents, your friends, you've done it, you've done it, you've prepared well. You know, you'll do well and also not pressuring yourself too much, it's trying to relax on those days. Yes. So before the D-Day, like other than not studying or revising, one thing I would like, I would like to do was in the night, I would walk, just keep walking until I get tired and that would force my body to sleep. Okay. So there was no point of getting nervous because you had to sleep. Got it. So that really helped a lot. Like it was like, uh, there was no issue of, oh, I'm too nervous. I can't sleep till 12 in the night. Because you are so tired that you just sleep. Excellent. Very interesting. Very interesting. Approach. I mean, uh, the point is to just do a light walk or a exercise. It's not like you do a marathon so that yeah, you yeah, end up with sore muscles yeah. the next day. Got it. Got it. Very nice. And very also, nice. like on the on one day, we used to have two tests. Correct. So if the first test goes bad, that shouldn't reflect on the second one. Very true. Very true. Yes. So we have to back ourselves during the break between the two tests so that our next test doesn't go bad. Very nice. Yes. So again, we went back to uh, we had uh, spoken about some of you being uh, morning uh, people, some of you being night people when it comes to study. So the day before the uh, test, so what time was it? What time did your test begin? 10.30. 10.30. Okay. So the previous night, what time did you say? Okay. What time did you say? I'm going to bed now. What time did you sleep? How many hours of sleep were you able to manage to get the previous night? Around 9.30 to 10, I'd go to sleep. Okay. I'd get like around seven and a half, maybe Fantastic. eight. Okay, okay, okay. And then uh, it's about it. Got it. What yes, about? So I would sleep at around eleven and then get up at maybe seven, eight. Get Very up nice. Like eight Very hours nice. of sleep. Getting that, getting that proper sleep in. Okay. Uh, Ten thirty to six thirty. Like Excellent. Eight hours or eight more hours. than that. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sleeping at ten and getting up at uh, five or six. Ten to six thirty. Fantastic. So eight hours. Of sleep. So I think unanimously all of you are saying that day before the exam, yeah. whatever you've been doing before that, you know, four, five, six hours, but the day before the exam, it's important to have that seven, eight hours of sleep. Get your mind at rest so that you're very calm when you go into the exam. It's very nice. Very interesting. I think this is a very important message that goes out to your juniors because many uh, students, the day before the exam, Today, one day I will study, you know, I will make sure I'll, I'll come back and sleep after the exam. Now don't disturb. Now I want to study. This is what happens. And unfortunately, by the time they go into the exam hall, their mind, their brain is so drained out that they can't reproduce what they've learned. Right. Great. And uh, so you said 1030 your uh, exam began. So what time did you uh, all reach the exam center? Around 945 and then go into the exam hall by around 9. 9.50ish and then maybe I just meditate or that I just meditate close my eyes and just stay, just Got calm it. myself and keep my breathing in check. Yes. What about you guys? What uh, time did you reach the exam? Around 9.30, 9.30. and I went inside by 9.45. Okay. And I didn't speak to anyone there because it could tense me up. So yeah. I was just with myself and okay. uh, yeah. And how did you manage those 45 minutes? Were there, were there those butterflies in your stomach and were you? Yeah, meditation, breathing, breathing. Okay. just stay calm. Stay calm. Yeah. Did you open any books at no. the time? Okay, right. What about you guys? Yeah, I'm staying calm the entire time. Did right. you reach also about yeah, an hour, I, I reached, an hour, yeah, hour I reached early. Okay. You good? Uh, this may seem excessive, but I reached at nine o'clock because my parents like to be cautious. Okay. So, 
So which which part of uh, Bangalore do you have your test? Bus one Godi. Okay, and where were you going from? Ah, uh, Uttarali. Ah, uh, so I think I think it's important. Uh, be before time on that one. If the test center is far, I think being there as early as possible is right. the best thing. Mm -hmm. They give like a reporting time on the sheet and stuff, so I'd mostly follow that. A little bit like five ten minutes late also is not a big issue. Um, and in the exam, I just like try to keep myself calm by just again like focusing on my breathing right. and that's it and in the examination i just focus on the question instead of like uh, thinking about whether i'm feeling anxious or worried or 